Now's not the time to think about the enemy. So in case you're wondering why I'm back here, it's because I totally missed the sparkle for one of the hidden kids. And I realized it much too late. So I went back to get it. Um, I can't believe I missed it. Look, it's right there. Can you believe that? I looked everywhere. So that's Toa Hills. It's so obvious. Come here, you. Hey, all you cool cats. This is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, where we are going past these two robots into the next area. So this is a real office, huh? Do you think I could ever have my own office someday? I think another ice age would come before you end up in a place like this. <sighs> all right. Oh shoot. Oh god. Why? What is throwing the- oh, there we go. Alright. That really threw me. Alright, so let's just make sure that I investigate every little bit here. These are apparently elevators. Chairs, like, I feel strongly that there's going to be a sparkly somewhere. Oh my god. I, I, I was, I was gonna say I feel strongly that there's gonna be a sparkle up here. I didn't think I was gonna actually be right. Can I actually reach in here? Didn't, no. Oh, it's not gonna let me look from here. How am I gonna see it? It's gonna let me do it up here? Okay. How do I... The sparkles are not gathering together. I, I'm guessing that I must be able to go over there some point. Alright, well, we know where it's at. That's... That's just going to be a relief that we know it's there. How lucky is that though? I was just thinking- oh! Alien. When I heard there was going to be a new member of our family, I wasn't expecting much, but somehow I'm still disappointed. We get this brat inside our house now. I have no idea what she's thinking. She and her whole attitude don't belong here. Food tastes disgusting when I have to eat with this alien and look at her smile. Everything she does nauseates me. I have a bad feeling about this, and I can't shake the feeling that my family is going to be going to pieces because of her. And my intuition is almost always right. Who? Who wrote that? Um, I don't remember what Nagisa said about Monica's family. Anyways. Whoa. It's no use. It's not budging. Do we need a card key? Like we did for the elevator at Toa Tower? Then we can't use this elevator, huh? But it doesn't look like the other elevator's gonna move, so we have to work with this one. Wait a minute. Would Haiji maybe have a card key? He is the heir to the Toa group. Even if he did, that coward mole is in the middle of a fight with his Big Bang Monokuma. The coward mole you're talking about. That wouldn't be me, would it? No, of course not! Of course not, Mr. Crazy. Haiji! Why are you here? Same reason you're here. You're looking for the device to control Monokumas, right? You too? The Monokumas from all over Toa swarmed me all at once. Even with Big Bang, 
They were too many. So the plans changed. Destroy the controller first, make the enemy lose their edge. After the Monokumas are out of the picture, we're just dealing with kids. We can turn this around. You're not thinking about killing innocent kids, are you? Is that Shirakuma's advice? Huh? So what if it is? Uh, no, nothing. What? I, I thought Shirokuma wanted us to stop everything before the... But I had no idea you two were already here. No wonder we didn't run into too many of them. Anyways, good timing. Do you have a card key for this elevator? No, we don't need a card key for this. This elevator only works with retinal identification. Retinal? Is that an animal? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Kamaru. It's... Oh. I. Retinal means I. Thank you. But why is it locked in the first place? This lock shouldn't be on unless it's been manually set. Last time I saw it was open. So who locked it? Don't tell me. Is this also her doing? Is she trying to toy with me? Stop your creepy mumbling to yourself and open it. Your eyes will work fine, won't they? No. The only thing that can release the lock is the eyes of Toa Group's chairman. The chairman? Your father? You said he was missing. Missing, right. I only said that because I didn't want to admit it. The old man is dead. The kids killed him. What? Wait a minute. If he was killed... And retinal scanning isn't even gonna work anymore. Uh. Uh. Well, if his body is still around. No, as long as we have his eyes, the scanner should still work. Yeah. So, all we gotta do is bring the old man's body back here. And just drag him over, open up his eye, and point it at the, the thing. His body? Yeah. I think that's what whoever locked this door wanted me to do. After all, his body is on this floor. On this cool. floor? Go grab it then. Yeah, on this floor for sure. He was killed right before my eyes. The old man was killed in the chairman's office on this floor. Throat torn out by Monokumas. I, I ran away, but I'm sure his body is still in the office. The chairman's office should be at the end of the hall over there. I'll leave the rest to you. Uh, dude, no. How about you come with me? What the... Are you that much of a wimp? You're not coming with us? If I have to go along with their sick little games, I'd rather give up entirely. Besides, it might be faster to just destroy this whole building with Big Bang Monokuma. Ooh. What are you talking about? We're still in this building. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. You didn't sound Aichi. like you were kidding. He's acting different now for some reason. And who's the her he mentioned? I don't know, but I have a sinking feeling that maybe Monica is adopted or something. I guess. Let's try the chairman's office. Although, I can't say I'm excited about what we'll find. Yeah, I'm not excited either. Oh good. I can go this way. What's in here? Complete manual for marriage prep. With just this one book, you're safe from womb to tomb. From engagement to divorce, we have completely covered the know-hows of anything and everything related to marriage. Learn the ABCs of marriage. Yeah, I expected this. Well, I guess there's some books that might be of use once in a while. Be of use? For what? Don't mess with me! We're proposing the master, obviously. Once we're out of here, we'll make a vow right away. Uh, you can't do that, Toko. 
can't? What do you mean I can't? Are you saying that Master rejecting me is a foregone conclusion? That I should just give up? No, I'm saying that if you keep talking like that, you're totally raising your death flag. <coughs> huh? Oh, you don't know a death flag? Um... Like, imagine a mystery novel when a bunch of people are trapped in a mansion. One guy says something like, There's no way I'm staying, and runs off alone. Talking like that or making a dumb decision pretty much means they're gonna die. A death flag. <sighs> I know what it is. I just don't believe in a stupid jinx like that. Toko, no, that here's another death flag. <laughs> but I can't say that either. Characters who don't believe in curses or the power of God always get killed off. <sighs> Though that might be true, but... Jeez! Jeez, stop raising all those death flags. Now we're really in a pinch. What's going on? Jeez, how much do you believe in that stuff? All right! Since that's the case, we have no choice but to raise a survival flag. Huh? You see... In tear-jerking drama surgeries that have low success rate always miraculously work, right? In an anime, whenever you think the main character is going to lose, somehow they win. So we just have to raise the survival flag. Activate super low probability principle. Well... Um, okay, what do we do? What do we do? The probability that we're going to defeat the children is a mere 1%. Oh no, there's no way we can win against them. I'm just a normal high school girl and stuff. That's pretty much the first thing you told me when we met. <laughs> well, yeah. I've been trying to raise my survival flag ever since. A character who tries too hard dies early, too. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! You guys weren't here before! Whoa. Um... They were not here before. Okay, let's just canvas this area really well. If we miss a step, we're finished. You might say it's game over. of money. I feel like they're gonna spawn while I'm walking this. Super race. Oh, super race. Number of mana coins obtained increases greatly. I feel like I've got, like, Almost everything, though. I don't... I don't think I need that. Plus it costs 10, so I'd have to unquit a lot of stuff. Well, alright. <gasps> oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, Jotaro, good. That's a good thing to see because I didn't want to miss anything in between, um, in between the last one and this one. Ah, <laughs> We've seen lots of blood. Ugh, I was so shocked I really drew out that last word. 
the bodies behind the desk. Hey, Toko. What? Did you find it? I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. Oh. It's looking at me. I don't know. Can we get Can we get Genocide or Show to help us with this? You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. Ugh. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Do what? What are you... What? What is that? It's done. What's done? What did you do? What's that paper bag? No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah. Probably better if you don't. Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. Oh. Is is the head in there or is it just the eye? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Kamaru. You look pale. Are you okay? Well, actually, never mind. I know you're not. Yeah, let's not. What are you doing here, you stupid monokumas? Hmm. Back. Moving across a steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears? This is getting crazy. Sensing ghosts? That's enough of your occult stories. Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss. Huh? What? Toko, did you say something? Huh? I didn't say anything. Uh, that's strange. For some reason, I thought I heard a voice. Uh... I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. Miss. Miss. See? I hear it again. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, 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 uh. What? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? G -g 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 ghost! The ghost of a severed head! I told you, now's not the time for fooling around. I'm serious! Miss, you're horrible. Throwing my head away like that. Uh... I, I am sorry. I, I was surprised. I, I dropped it on accident. I didn't mean to. Huh? I, I, I'm really sorry. I apologize. Please, don't curse me! Curse you? There's no way I'd do something so lonely. I just want you to listen. L listen? Kamaru, get a hold of yourself! You're hallucinating! My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. Uh, I know. You're Mr. Haiji's father, right? I see. You know Haiji. Then do you know his little sister, Monica, too? Okay, I thought so. Little sister... Monica? Shh. Monica is a mage. 
And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. Then... that kid... and Mr. Haiji are siblings? Hmm... so you do know about Monica. In that case, I can get right to the point. I beg you, no matter what, using any means necessary, stop Monica from going out of control. If you let her do this, the name of Toa will be finished. This is bad. Kamaru's chatting up an illusion. I gotta bring her back to her senses. The ungrateful child. She forgets she is in my debt for taking her in, and revolts against me. Taking her in? That whelp's mother was my mistress. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was adoption, but this is... this makes more sense. But that bitch abandoned her responsibility, and forced Monica on me when she was a baby. But isn't a father expected to raise his own child? If her mother wasn't going to raise her, I wouldn't have tolerated the pregnancy at all. That's horrible. I even let her stay in our home and raised her. I could have easily left her in an orphanage. But that child made me end up like this. She killed her own father. It's all that woman's fault. She's the one who made Monica insane. I knew something was wrong the moment I noticed Monica growing more rebellious. Wait, that woman? Even thinking about her horrifies me. Hmm? The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Ah! The power of Christ compels you! I... I beg you! Please stop, Monica! Avenge me! Toko, what are you doing? I was just about to hear something important! Phew. Looks like you're back to your senses. There's no way that stupid chant would work on a real ghost. You are dreaming it. Dreaming? But he told me a lot of things. About the Toa family. Oh, it was all just a delusion. Really? A delusion? <laughs> well, I mean, where else did she learn this information? Look, you're tired. Dream about stuff when you're in bed after this is all over. I, I still don't get it, but... Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Let's move on. Doesn't seem good. from the future and I actually didn't pick up on what Toko and Komaru were saying here about the artificial tea. What's hilarious is, is I actually thought that, I don't know, but this is creeping me out. The fake teeth that are laying around were like some sort of can of something or I don't know, I wasn't even really looking at it. I was so intensely scared because I knew that Beast Monokumas had to be roaming around that I just wasn't listening to the dialogue. <laughs> Careful! The tricky one came out! How do we handle that one?
Whoa, 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 whoa. Those who dream, Momoyo's throat. I shouldn't have had that dream. If only thinking that would make it so. How easy would that be? When you're, when you think about something like that, how are you supposed to feel? To keep some, to keep myself from thinking like that, I'll just keep trudging along with my head down. Though she finally fulfilled her long-desired dream to become a novelist, Momoyo Muto's talent is dried up in less than two years. Her dream, her money, her life, and the encounter too frail to call fate. Which reminds me. Which reminds me. I need to ask you something what? important. Something important? Um... We are, you know, friends, right? Friends discuss things like hopes and dreams, right? <laughs> yeah? Don't mess with me! Why don't you sound sure? Am I wrong? Um... Well, there are different forms of friendship, after all. Anyway, I've realized that I don't know your dream. So tell me, what's your embarrassing dream for the future? Um, well, it's not like outside of this town is peaceful, so it might not really matter what my dream is. What? What, are you embarrassed or something? Well, well a little. Aren't all dreams a little embarrassing? No. My dream for the future is greedy. It's embarrassing for me to think that far. <laughs> I'll just say it already, I won't laugh. But no, you're definitely gonna laugh. Don't mess with me! What? I said I won't, so I won't! Let's just say it already! Promise you won't make fun of me? Ugh. Jeez, you're persistent, I promise! Um... Okay, been thinking about it on and off since middle school. Um, I wanna be a manga artist. No. Or, I think that, like, it might be nice to be one. I see. I see. That is very you. Why'd you get quiet? Aww. You're really not gonna make fun of me for that? Well, you won't change my opinion that manga is trash. But I told you I won't make fun of you. And besides, the desire to be something is admirable. I would never make fun of that. Toko! What? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm just glad that you're my friend. If I ever draw manga, I want you to be the first one to read it. I can't imagine the day would come that I actually read a manga. Huh? Do you mean... Anyway, manga or novels, none of that is going to get done unless we get out of this town. Let's hurry up and finish this. Yeah, as long as we're together, everything will turn out right. That was kind of nice. But Lord Goshen's mug is, like, so ugly. No filter is going to make that face look pretty. That's why his profile pic is his dog. I'm telling you, our patterns just don't match. Seriously, it doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe Nihai so looks skinny. I'm so jealous. Oh, all the monokumas are there. Looks like he's looking for someone. How do you know? When did you get the ability to read the minds of homicidal bears? <laughs> Batteries are full. Um, what the fudge? Killing urge obtained. Max batteries plus one. I've probably missed a max battery somewhere. Because I have a feeling that probably should have been the last battery I obtained. 
Did I clear out this floor? There were only two rooms. Looks like I did. I didn't see any hidden children, and it's been a pretty good- oh, Wait! Uh, I totally forgot something! What? What? The chairman's head! We left it! Now he's gonna curse me again! <sighs> I'm leaving. Lots of bloody stuff around here. Sparkle there. Let's not forget that. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. Over there! Someone's hanging from the ceiling! <gasps> Kodoko! Find the kid without getting caught. Okay, the bears will stop to like stare at the middle and bark at her. And I have that much time to go. Okay. That's a good question. You two, please help me! These perverted bear robots are gonna gang up on me! Ignore her. There's no way I can do that! You're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity! What? No, she didn't! A Monokuma kid is somewhere in this room controlling them! Find that kid, bring and kill him! You heard her. I'm not going to kill them! When the beast Monokumas are focused on her, that's your chance. Yeah. Hold on. Let's wait until they're done rotating around here. No! I'm gonna be humiliated by a beast, but I'm still a kid! Oh, we're getting closer. Nope. Shred them into scrap metal. Ah, I'm glad. Even the worthy Homer sometimes nods. Did I use that proverb right? I almost never say stuff like that, so I'm not sure. But just because you're not used to it doesn't mean you should give up. Like those tentacles. What are you talking about? Hey, why were you getting attacked? It is highly unfortunate, but it appears I too have been betrayed for being so unfortunate you sure seem nonchalant about it she's acting well this is an act too if i stop acting it would be bad i would lose my cool like some miserable wretch to put this much effort into betraying me i'm boiling with anger you're talking about monica right yes she said it herself she doesn't care about paradise and never has Oh, man. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took advantage of the hope Big Sis Junko gave us. And she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. Remember after I lost to you two? I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship, or effort, or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never gonna happen. From the very beginning. Oh man, she's getting mad. If that's true, then what is she really after? I'm not sure. But she said something about the successor to Junko and Oshima or something. Yeah, I have a feeling she's trying to make Komaru go crazy. 
and become a successor. That's my guess. Because it doesn't... I, at first I thought it was going to be that she wanted to have like a great showdown like Makoto versus Junko except with Komaro and her. But that... But Monica's like super twisted and I have a feeling that she is trying to make Komaro into Junko. A successor? She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself. Not a paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. No. I think... I think she wants to have someone be her big sis Junko again. She's seriously the worst! She should just choke on a bowl of poo and die! Hey, Toko. What do you think? Well, first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Saying things like, I was betrayed. She probably just wants us to let our guard down. Never! Look, I'm completely unarmed! Ah, uh, please See? don't! H hey, stop! If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The whereabouts of that big fat liar, Monica. She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that. But that's when I got jumped by these Monokumas. The device that controls the Monokumas. Is that in this Excalibur thing too? I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it. She's controlling the Monokumas. Jeez, her stupid magic. Getting all carried away with that controller. You should snatch it from her. Then you can give it to me for safekeeping. Uh, no. S safekeeping? You're just as bad as Monica. And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? <laughs> yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Master has to have beautiful nipples. The master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But the key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket. I like how she's adding more more words to describe Monica. And all I gotta do is strip that brat down and snag that key. Yeah, and after she's stripped down, bury her legs and let starving dogs come eat her. You don't have to go that far. All we have to do is make her give us the key. Oh, you're so kind, miss. But remember, the device that controls the Monokumas, just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. They're not demons to me, not one bit. Why are we at this angle? Now then, good day. I don't believe you when you say you don't day? hate... Where is she going? Adults anymore. I don't believe that. I think you still think of adults as demons. She doesn't hate the adults anymore, huh? <laughs> don't make me laugh. You aren't that good at acting. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. No, we had to. Right now, we know where we need to go. So let's get to the roof already. <sighs> if anyone needed to be spared, I, I needed to spare her. Cause... Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Kamaru, your eyes are scary. Huh? I told you before, Master comes first. But if we can save the city while we're at it... But... but got it. Got it. To be honest... I... would say that we should really think about things carefully. I have yet to see a hidden kid again, which makes me nervous. Because we're starting to hit that point where I should have seen it. A quick and easy cleaning technique. Rooms are said to be the mirror of your mental spirit. If a room is messy, your mental hygiene is not good either. But if you are always busy in your everyday life and have no time to spend for cleaning, this book is perfect 
is the perfect cleaning book for you. With the godly skill of cleaning that only lasts five minutes per day, your room can once again be your sanctuary. I'm an annoying woman, aren't I? Where did this come from? Just be honest, I'm annoying, right? <laughs> uh, maybe? That's right, I knew it. I'm an annoying woman. I'm scared that monster might hate me. Toko! No, it'll be alright. If you don't want to be seen as annoying, all you need all you have to do is remember the three don'ts. <laughs> the three don'ts. Amazing! That's right, just keep the three don'ts in mind and he'll never think you're annoying. But that's What is this magic you speak of? What are the three things? Tell me, woman. The first one is don't want. If you say you want this or that, boys will think you're demanding. If you want them to do something for you, first you must be a woman worth doing something for. The second is don't be greedy. It's true. It is a woman's nature to never be satisfied and always want more. But you have to fight those urges to be the ideal Japanese woman. Amazing! And the third is, don't last long. You just have to get off an aura that makes boys think they have to take you quick or you'll disappear. And if you have that attitude, guys will start paying attention to you all the time. What's going on? Sounds simple enough. But how do you know this stuff? <laughs> well, to be honest, I just came up with the three don'ts myself. I used to give love advice on the internet all the time. <laughs> you are a virgin! How are you going to give advice like that? I thought you said that kind of experience doesn't matter. Chastity is a virtue. Don't mess with me. Not right now, it isn't. <laughs> Alright, we're saving and we're going up here. How much longer until we get to the roof? We've climbed pretty high. Can't be too far away. Okay, there's one room at the end of this hall. Probably a Monokuma at some point. creepy door what should we do what should we do are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door I mean I've opened every door up until now why wouldn't I I mean there might be something important or useful in here uh, I'm not gonna help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time don't say that it's scary Hey, what's in here? What is this? This is the creepy room that Monica said mom and dad like Wait a minute. Why would she have said mom and dad? Her dad was dead in the uh the office area. Now that I think about it. to squint really hard because my glasses Komaru Makoto? Oh no. What is this? It's written in blood. They're letters, right? Hey, Togo, can you take a look at the... Yeah, what are you doing in here? Don't scare me like that! If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known! Jeez! So... It was here. Um... Mr. Haichi? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Sure. You guys saw that broadcast too, right? 
Someone help! That's my wife! Oh. To try and flush us out from the base, those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. What? What? Such a despair-inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room... It represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base. Their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then... Those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah so Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? That's that's pretty that that is a point that's really crazy. How did they do that? Well, capable or not, that's what happened. And that's why we can't show any mercy. Not anymore. I'll never forgive those bastards. Never. This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. I'm not wanting to take their side, you idiot. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but... Those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <laughs> but... I don't think he's gonna listen. Toko, shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. I hate to say this, because normally I would I would argue that it's always worth trying to talk to someone, but, but he's kind of scary right now. I wanted right to now. ask him about his little sister, too. No. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base. Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Jeez, things are starting to get fishy. But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. Not to mention, every single person who was, like, split up like that none of them had kids of their own so they were specifically targeted to grab people with families that didn't have children of their own and divide them up so that way one of their loved ones would be killed here on a broadcast so that way the survivors could that's crazy planning I'm sure it'll be alright you and me we can do this. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Stop worrying about other people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. I still have not seen another Monokuma kid. Here, Master Biakia is nearby. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. His aromatic, sweet fragrance is getting stronger. You mean his bio is getting stronger? Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But then again, a smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. Us? You're including me in this? Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it, right? But before we go, let me nourish myself.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, what what can you say to that? Nothing. Nothing can be said. Um all right. up here. There's a sparkle here. Okay, we need to look really hard for a Monokuma kid. Because it's it's been so long. I've gone up several floors and I haven't seen one. Maybe it's up there. Back out. Let's go in here. This place looks familiar. For some reason, this room creeps me out. I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. Pretty blunt, if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. Wow. You're mean. <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. Maybe there's a hidden room behind that throne. Of course. There's always a hidden passage behind the throne. I'm sorry, you must be embarrassed at, by my hold, but I'm just so tired now. For some reason, I feel really sleepy. Thank you for everything. Please get along with the new kid, too. Ah, that was fun. Everyone knows that. Oops. So, it really was a hidden room. Do you think Byakuya could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden! Yeah. Uh, Toko, wait up! Wait. I wonder... What if I... Looks like there was a hidden passageway, too. Jeez, secret rooms, hidden passages, definitely a gimmick a kid would think of. Demon name Kem Kamekox. Real name Kamako. A magic demon that looks like a stink bug. It's weak like its owner and it smells like it too, but it can use stink gas on you. When you go to hunt it, make sure you wear a gas mask or something. That's Toko's precious someone? This one's different from the other one. It's really dreary. This ladder, it's pretty suspicious. But Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. of Junko and Ashima. Huh? This person is Junko and Ashima? She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? Sorry. You're right. And more importantly, this creepy room. It's like a cult headquarters. What happened? Take a look at this. The girl in this photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. 
She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. Yeah, I was about to say it looks normal. Just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ishima and smiling like this. The way this photo was placed here, I guess this is Monica's room. <clears throat> no wonder she wants to be the successor. She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. That's a lot of Junko. Oh, a lot of these images are repeated, thank goodness. Oh, sparkles. Not a fairy tale. I never expected my mother would abandon me to my father, someone I never met before. I never thought something like that could happen to me, meow. If this were a fairy tale, the main character would tie the knot with the prince from somewhere. But I know this is reality. Not some silly old tale. The only thing I can do is sigh. Selfishly do their business. Selfishly give birth. And then to top it off, selfishly abandon. Hee hee hee. Such pathetic characters. How splendid. Ah, right, right. Speaking of splendid, all of my new family is splendid too. The attitude they have towards me, the outsider, is far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they make a face that says you don't deserve to laugh. They're so amazing. It's so splendid. Kya, kya, kya. So splendid that I want to die. Just kidding. No, seriously. I was just kidding. Just a joke. Why would you put her room up a ladder? Wouldn't that make it like super inconvenient when you're handicapped? My intuition says we're almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. There's a sparkle down here. About Makoto Nayagi. Big Sis Junko, aka the goddess, was killed by Makoto Nayagi. Makoto is super cool. He overcame tough circumstances with the power of hope and obtained the future they wanted. He even made the boys' hearts race. There's no mistaking that each and every one of you will admire him, and a super cool guy like that absolutely has to be killed. We were led to misfortune by Makoto Nagi, so we have no other choice. Pigs who kill others for their own interest deserve to be killed by pigs for other people's interest. Okay, come on now. There better be a freaking sparkle somewhere around here. I'm I'm seriously going to canvas this area so well. about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? You're not gonna, like, cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? Well, it's true that I might do that, but it's weird hearing it from someone else. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. It's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full, joyous reunion later. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces in Master's arms. <laughs> Are you sure he'd be okay with that? There's no way he'd dislike it. 
Jeez, you don't understand men at all. You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. I'll try to remember that. Funny, I was going to end the video here because I was just going to look around really hard and call this the end of the episode, but that popped up. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episodes so far. We are, we've definitely got to be getting close to the end. Hopefully I'm going to find Kotoko's Monokuma Kid somewhere around here. Hidden Monokuma, whatever. I'm looking for it. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!